Hello everyone, we will continue the topic PRF plus and in the previous videos, we created a very simple PRF plus application. We did the simulation of the PRF plus application. Simulation is we check the output of this BRF plus application independently and it is working fine. Now in this video, we will call this BRF plus application from our program because customer will run the program. Customer will not come to this BRF plus transaction code and do the simulation. It's a very tedious task for the customer. So we will simply, simply call this BRF plus application from the program. Before we proceed further, I will go for one clarity, which few people ask this particular question. You are saying that you will separate the application from the rules. That's why we have a concept of BRF plus. In any industry, rules are changing so rapidly. That's why we are separating the rules from the application. Now the question which few people are asking, you created a application and in that application, you define the rules. Then how rules are separated from the application to see. This is a application only, only for the rules. This is a BRF plus application only for the rules. Do not confuse it with banking application. Suppose if I talk about, we have a banking application. In that banking application, we have so many things are there. From that banking application, we are separating the rules and we are saying it as BRF plus application. So do not merge these two things. Here application means your particular industry for which industry you have the application. Suppose banking application, suppose some government portal application. And here we are talking about BRF plus application which is only, only for the rules. So it's a two different things itself. So do not merge. This is a separate, this is separate application only, only for the rules. Now, now we will simply call this BRF plus application from the program. How we will call it? It is very, very easy. SAP will already give you the code we just need to use that code. Now, how we will use that particular code? Here, if you see, as of now, we are only, only able to see the simulation button. We will be able to see the code template button also. The first most important thing, because when maximum people will do the practical, they will say, we are not able to see the code template button. SAP has provided the code template button. So firstly, how we will enable that code template button. There is a option here. You can see we have an option here, personalize. You can click here on to this personalize. Once you will click here, as of now, your user mode is simple. You can simply change it to expert. One of the most important part because maximum people ask how we can call this BRF plus application from the ABAP program. How I can write this much complex logic. There's no need to write the logic. The logic is there itself. We just need to copy paste into our ABAP program. SAP provided the code. SAP provided a template itself. We just need to use that. So for that, firstly, you need to change the mode to the expert. Save. Once you will save, now I will show you. You can see in this function, as of now, you have a simulation button. So what I will do, I will firstly close this. I will open again because now you change the user code. 
So I will put PRF plus transaction code. Now, once you will put BRF plus transaction code, now we will be able to see the expert mode, expert mode. Previously, it was simple. Now, if I will expand, now if I will go to function, this is our function. Now you can see, previously we have only, only simulation button. Now we have trace button, generate button, create code template button, advanced check button. Now you can see we have code generation button. Previously, these things were not there. So whenever you will go for expert mode, you will be able to see all these things. After choosing the expert button, just refresh it, okay? Or you can close and open again. Now I will click here, create code template. It will show you the template of the code itself. Click here. Whenever you will click here, you will be able to see the code here itself, okay? Now, I will simply, as of now, this checkbox is selected, show comments. Always go for show comment because whenever you will see the comments, you will realize, yes, which code is for which particular purpose. So as of now, show comments is ticked. So we will be able to see the comments so that we can realize, yes, this code is for which particular purpose. Now I will select this checkbox also. Why I am selecting this checkbox? Just remember our result for your input is what? P input. Your output is what? P output. So P output, I choose the DDIC reference at that point of time. So whenever I will choose this show result in DDIC representation, just see as of now, you have only, only input. You have only input. Just see P input. I will apply. Just see here itself, you will change, see a change here. I'm going for apply. And you can see, I got a extra data declaration for LA underscore P output, which is of type this. If you remember, this is the data element I took for the interest. So SAP generated the code. Just see P input. You can see P output. This is our input and output. So there's no need to manually write the code. SAP has generated the code. Now you need to use that. So I will simply right click. I'll just copy this code. I will just copy this code. And now I will create a program. So I will go to SC38 transaction code. And now I will create a program. Z calling PRF plus application. So I'm creating a program to call a PRF plus application. I will go for create. Okay. I cannot use special character. Sorry, I put plus. I will write here bank so that it will make more clarity. I will go for create. I will give the title to the program. Calling of PRF plus application. Now I will choose the type as executable program and I will go for save. I will save this program as a local object. Now I will simply, simply copy paste the code. Now I will paste the code here. Now I pasted the code and SAP has given a excellent documentation. Whenever we will go for code changes, we will use this documentation. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we are started with how to call this BRF plus application from the program. 
the first most important thing which I explained. Do not confuse application word with BRF plus application. Your BRF plus application means in which you will only define the rules. Application means your industry. You are talking about specific industry. You suppose banking industry, government industry. So we are separating the rules from this particular application and we are creating a BRF plus application only to define the rules. Now, how to call? There is no need to write the logic by your own. The only only thing is you need to go to firstly go to personalize. Whenever you will go to personalize, change the user mode from simple to expert. Once you will put expert, you will be able to see so many extra buttons. You need to click on to create whole template. By default, show comments is strict and we, our result is through DDIC representation because our P output is referring to data dictionary. So when I selected and apply, I got an extra data declaration there and P output also comes here in the code. Then I created a program and I copy pasted the code into this particular program. In the next video, I will go for corresponding changes in the program based upon our requirement because ultimately we have to go for some code changes. This is code template which save our times a lot. But ultimately we need to do some changes in the code. I will do some changes in the code and we will check the expected output. So that's it in this video. Thank you.